do, but that's not the one. <laughs> it's kind of a difficult subject. Um, like many women, I've been sexually assaulted. Like many women, I've had pregnancy scares. Um, like many women, I've taken pregnancy tests. Like many women, um, I've been with partners who haven't really cared about whether or not I get pregnant or whether I get sick. Um, like many women, I've gone to Planned Parenthood. And like many women here, I'm sure that, you know, I've I've seen the same the same protesters we've all seen when we go to the, the Planned Parenthood in Manchester. People coming up to you and saying, don't kill your baby. And I tell them every time, I'm like, I'm going to Planned Parenthood so I don't have to have a baby that I'm going to abort. And, you know, I'm listening to what some of the other, some of the older women here are saying, and, you know, yeah, I'm a young woman and I hear it and it scares me because I've been in a situation where I thought about needing to get an abortion. Thankfully, I wasn't pregnant, but it really scares me that I wouldn't have that option. Um, I was at the state house with my boyfriend when we had the, the rally in, in support of uh, women's conception, uh, conceptions rights earlier this spring. And um, he actually took off time from work to come up with me to Concord, and I asked him why, and he said, Nora, this isn't just about you. It isn't just about women. It's about men. If we take away women's reproductive choices, men, well, he put it more bluntly, he was like, men aren't going to get laid as much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> practical. But he was, but you know, he was right. And I think one thing that we miss in all of, in this conversation is that it's not just women that are being affected. It's, it's everybody. It's, you know, if I can't get birth control, then that's as much my, my boyfriend's problem as it is mine. If my daughter, I don't have children, but if somebody, my daughter, was pregnant, that's as much my my problem and my husband's problem or her father's problem as it would be hers. I mean, this isn't just about women. This is about everybody. And I think it's a major failing of Ginta's that we that that he isn't able to see that that this isn't about this isn't just about women's bodies, but it's about giving people about keeping families whole and safe.